baseball fans. I've got another game for you, Stratomatic. And this is Stratomatic Advanced Old School. We're back with the old school cards. They went over so well the last time I did it, I decided I'll do it again. And so this is going to be the 1985 Pittsburgh Pirates. And they will be taking on the 1985 Atlanta Braves. Now, as you can see by the sleeves that I have, the uh, or maybe you can't see, maybe the record is too far behind. But the 85 Pirates, neither of these teams was good. Let me just say that. The 85 Pirates were 57 and 104. And again, looking at the team, I can see why. And the 85 Braves were 66 and 96. So both bad teams. This is not a mismatch Monday in any way, shape, or form. It's more like one of those games that uh, Kurt Berglund, Kurt Berglund does on his channel called Bad Baseball because that's what you're going to see today probably is bad baseball. So um, we'll go through the lineups as we come to them. The Pirates are up first. They're visiting the Braves and um, the. Uh, Lineup for the Pirates will be Johnny Ray at second. R.J. Reynolds will be in center field. Mike Brown is in right field. Jason Thompson will be at first base. Jim Morrison will be the uh, third baseman. Steve Kemp will be in left. Tony Pena at catcher, great defensive catcher. Sammy Khalifa will be the shortstop, and doing the pitching today and batting ninth for the Pirates is Rick Roden. And uh, the uh, and that's that's the uh, Pirates. That is the Pirates lineup, and so let's get on with the game. The first batter, of course, Johnny Ray. Poor old Johnny Ray. Remember that song? And, well, we got too many dice, so let me re-roll that. <laughs> I want to be very fair, but there was three blue dice. So that was a 5-10. 5-10, he is a sh uh, switch hitter, so he would be batting right against Zane Smith. And 5'10 against a right-handed batter is a walk. So Johnny Ray is aboard, and he is a stealing B. Um, if you remember the way we will do it, since they do not have, like, pitcher watches and all that stuff in the uh, 85 set, what we will do is a negative 3 if the batter is watched, and then we will take into account the catcher's arm. Um... Now, he's only a B, and the catcher for the Pirates is Pena, so I can tell you right now he's not going. R.J. Reynolds is up. He gets a 4-10. He also is a switch hitter, and so he would be batting right, and that is going to be a ballpark single. He is batting right, and so that is a single 1-12, to which is also a single. So the, uh, and let me see, I got a, I'm a little behind the times here. There was a walk to Ray, and then there was a single for Reynolds. And so the first two guys are aboard with Mike Brown up. And he gets a 1-5. He is a righty going up against a lefty, and 1-5 against left is a double. So that is going to be, he doubles in one run. And we could send R.J. Reynolds, and he is a running 1-15 and the uh, arm of the outfielder is the, that is going to be the left fielder. And the left fielder for the Braves is um, Harper. So, uh, and he bats somewhere down near the bottom. He has a negative two arm. So, 1 to 15 minus 2 is 1 to 13. We're going to send him. And they do. The Pirates send them, and they get another run. So Mike Brown hits a double, and he knocks in both guys that were on base with that double. 
and Zane Smith is in a lot of trouble all of a sudden. And Jason Thompson is the batter. He is the first baseman. He gets a 6-12. He's batting left, and that is going to be a strikeout. So there's the first out. And Jimmy Morrison, close the doors. Jimmy Morrison is up. He gets a 1-5, and that is going to be a fly ball center field B. That's an F. What is that? F8? No, that is an F8. Okay. And then Kemp is up. And Kemp gets a 6-4, and that is going to be, he is a lefty. That is going to be a catcher card X. Now, the catcher for uh, the Braves is Rick Cerrone, and he is a 3. Oh, yeah, that's, all right. Well, I had, I before, when I didn't steal, I had the, I was, thinking of the wrong catcher, but it doesn't really matter because they've scored, that guy scored anyway. But anyway, he is a three, and uh, that is a 20. So let's see what a 20 and a three get you. That's going to get you a pass ball and foul out. And so Kemp fouls out to two, and that is the inning. But the Pirates struck for two runs in the top of the first inning. They were far worse. I mean, they were nine games worse than the Braves. But, you know, the Braves haven't batted yet, so let's see what they can do against Rick Brody. With Hubbard leading off, he gets a 6-9. He is a righty. That's a righty on right. And that is going to be a fly ball center field. So that's the old F8. And Claudel Washington gets a 6-6. He is a left-handed batter, and that is going to be a fly ball to right field. Fly ball 9. And Horner is the batter. And, oh, by the way, I should go through the lineup for the Braves. Hubbard will lead off, obviously, and he got out. He was the second baseman. Claudel Washington plays right and bat second. Batting third will be Bob Horner, and he's playing first base today. Dale Murphy, Mighty Dale, will bat in the cleanup spot, and he's a center fielder. Ken Obrickfell will be the third baseman, batting fifth. Terry Harper is the left fielder, batting sixth. Rafael Ramirez is batting seventh, and at shortstop, Rick Cerrone is batting eighth, and he's the catcher, and Zane Smith is the pitcher. And with that, we have Bob Horner, and two down, and uh, yeah, again... Uh, you might not want to pay real close attention to the outs because sometimes I'm bad about keeping the outs, but he gets a 310, and against a right-handed pitcher, that is a home, it's a ballpark home run, and he is a right-handed batter, and he gets a home run. So, yeah, here at the launching pad, that is going to be a home run. And so the uh, Braves are on the board with the Bob Horner Jack. And that brings uh, Dale Murphy to the plate. He gets a 6-6. Six, six. He is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a strikeout. So the score is 2-1. to one. Surprisingly, there's a lot of scoring, although I guess you don't have to necessarily say that's surprising because with bad teams, you have bad pitching and bad hitting. But it is 2-1 to one Pirates after one with Tony Pena, the batter, um, here for the Pirates. And he gets a 2-12, and he's going up against... Um, against a lefty. So 212 against a left-handed pitcher. That's going to be a, a line out max plus injury. We're going to ignore the injury because this is a one-off game. So um, that is a line out to third base. Now I know in the past I have done the injuries, but then as I thought about it, it really doesn't make sense. It makes me jump through some hoops to put another guy in, and we're only talking about one game. This isn't a season, so that doesn't really make a lot of sense. 5-9, uh, Khalifa is a right-handed batter, um, and uh, he is 
going up against um, a left-handed pitcher, so 5-9, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. So Khalifa flies out to 8, and that brings up Rick Roden, the pitcher. He is a 3-batting pitcher. He gets a 4-10, and he is batting right. 4-10 is going to be a ballpark single, and for a right-handed batter, that's a 1-12, which means it's a single Rick Roden getting a hit. Rick Roden gets a hit, and Johnny Ray, poor old Johnny Ray with two down and a man at first, and he gets a 4-7, and he is a switch hitter, so he's batting right. And that's going to be a walk. So Johnny Ray has reached base twice here. And twice on walks, nonetheless. And that moves Roden over to second. And brings up R.J. Reynolds, who got on last time with a single. And he gets a 2-8. And he is batting against the lefty. And that is going to be a single. Are they going to send Roden? That's the question. Roden is a running... 1 to 10. They will not do that. So, R.J. Reynolds has his second consecutive single. He's 2 for 2 on the day, which gives way to Mike Brown. And Mike Brown gets a 6-7. He's batting right. And that is going to be a ground ball shortstop X and the shortstop for the uh, Braves is Ramirez. He's a 3 that's a 15. Let's check that bad boy out. Shortstop, 15-3 is going to be a ground ball B, and that is the end of the inning. So he grounds out, um, and he goes 6-3, uh, to three, and the Pirates come close, but they don't get any runs in the second. We go to the bottom of the second, and Ken Obrickfell is the batter for the Braves. Leading off here for the Braves in their second inning. And Obertfeld gets a 3-8. He is going up against a right-handed pitcher, and that's going to be a ground ball to first base. Terry Harper comes up. And he gets a 3-6, which is going to be a strikeout. Terry Harper with the K, and Ramirez is the batter, the shortstop. He gets a 2-9, and that is going to be a line out to, to second base. Line out four, and they go quickly, one, two, three. Neither team getting a run in the second, and so we are headed to the top of the third with Jason Thompson, the first baseman for the Pirates, being the batter. He gets a 5-5, and against Zane Smith, batting, he's batting as a lefty. That is going to be a single. So, Jason Thompson aboard with a hit. That's his first hit of the day, I believe. Yes, he struck out last time. Jim Morrison closed the doors, gets a 2-8, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's still what, it's a ground ball shortstop B, though. So, he is safe. On a fielder's choice, but the uh, runner was out at second, and that brings up Steve Kemp with a man on and one down, and he gets a 5-3. He is a left-handed batter, and uh, that is going to be a ballpark single, but it is an out. So that'll be a line out to second base. Let's see. Or no, a ground ball, ground ball to second base. Ground out um, B. So, or C. Actually, it's a ground ball C. So that moves Morrison to second, but now there is two down. And Tony Pena up, and Tony Pena gets a 6-6. Six, six. He is a righty, and that is going to be a single. But it is a split single, so they can't advance the runner. Uh, 
Morrison goes, or they can't advance the runner any further than third base. Morrison going to third. And Khalifa is up, and he gets 3-9. And against a lefty, that is going to be a single to right field and knocks in another run. So Sammy Khalifa coming up with a big hit. And the RBI, Morrison scoring on that with two down. And um, let's see. Yeah. Runners are now at first and second with two down and the pitcher up. That's Roden, and he gets a 4-8. He's batting right, and he is going to walk, it looks like. He does. So Roden has been on twice. He's singled and walked. Which brings up Johnny Ray, poor old Johnny Ray. And he gets a 4-7. He's going to be batting right, and that is going to be a walk and knock in another run and Johnny Ray has been on all three times with walks every one of those times that scores Pena and so that's the second run to score this inning and RJ Reynolds comes up and he's got a 5-6 he's batting right and that is going to be a single double asterisk and knock in two more and I do not think that we're going to see uh, both, both runners score, Khalifa and Roden. I don't think we're going to see Mr. Zane Smith pass the second inning. But Mike Brown is now up. There's two down, so if he can just get out of this inning. But that's going to be a, that's going to be a single because it's a ballpark single on a three, which scores another run. And that scores Khalifa, or no, Johnny Ray. That scores Johnny Ray. And uh, Jason Thompson is the batter, and he's the guy that let off this inning with a single. And um, let's see. I think, yeah, that puts... No, because the runner scored, yeah, that was a single double asterisk. So Jason Thompson's up, and he gets a 111, and that is going to be a ballpark single, and it is. So runners are, uh, he's got two hits. Two hits in this single inning, and now we're up to Jim Morrison. Zane Smith not getting out. He just really just fell apart. 4-9 against a right-handed batter. And that is finally going to be a merciful end. Ground ball, second base, C. And, um, but there is three, four, five run score for the Pirates in the fifth. And they have a seven to one lead now. And Kemp will be coming up for them in the next inning, at the top of the next inning. But this is huge. Rick Cerrone is the batter. For the Braves here in the third inning. They're down 7-1. He gets a 5-5. And he is a righty on a righty. And that's going to be a ground ball second base C. So Cerrone goes 4-3. Uh, that brings up Zane Smith. Who they are certainly going to pinch hit for. And they are going to certainly... Um, well, yeah, they're going to use the governor, Ger Gerald Perry. So Gerald Perry is going to pinch hit for Zane Smith. Admiral Perry, that's what it is. 2-6 <laughs> against a righty, and he's going to ground out to short. So 6-3. to three. Perry, and we'll just make a note. That was Perry in the third. And then, um, and then Glenn Hubbard is the batter, old Mother Hubbard. And he gets a 110, and that's going to be against a right-handed pitcher. Is this what we're talking about? Yep, fly ball left field. So Hubbard flies out to seven. They get no runs there, and the Pirates need a new pitcher.
or the Braves. Sorry, the Braves need a new pitcher. Now, this was back in the day, so uh, we're going to go with Rick Camp because he is a starter reliever, so he would probably could go long relief, and that's exactly what they're going to need here. And he is a, a batter seven. Well, at least he can hit. So we'll take Gerald, Gerald Perry out. And we'll take out the uh, pitcher's hitting card two. And we will replace that with a seven. And Claudel Washington. No, this is, uh, this, that was the end of the third. So uh, Steve Kemp is the batter here for the Pirates here in the top of the fourth inning. He gets a 6-12. He is a lefty going up against a righty. And that's going to be a strikeout. So Kemp just wasn't, didn't bat a second time. He missed out on batting a second time on that hit parade that happened last inning. And so he struck out here. And that's a 5-12 for Tony Pena, right-handed. And that is going to be a single. So Tony Pena gets a hit off Rick Camp, and that is his second hit of the day. He is two for three. Sammy Khalifa gets a 1-9. One 1-9 nine. One nine against a righty, and that's going to be a fly ball center field. Fly out eight, and that brings to the plate Rick Roden. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six. He is a righty. That is going to be a fly ball right field B. So the Pirates get no runs there. That's mercifully for the Braves. But we go to the bottom of the fifth, or bottom of the fourth, and Claudel Washington is now the batter. And he is, he gets a 3-4. Gets a and that's going to be a ballpark single. So, um, Claudel Washington leading off with a single here in the fourth for the Braves. And Bob Horner, the batter, he gets a 2 7. That's going to be a ground ball to the, well, let's see, ground ball to the shortstop double play. So, that's going to be a 6 4 3. The old 6-4-3 double play, and that brings up um, Dale Murphy. Mighty Dale. And he gets a 5-12. He is a righty. And that is going to be a... What is he? Is he a left-handed batter? No. So it's going to be a fly out. He flies out to center... Let's see. Flies out to left field, so... Um, F7, and no runs for the Braves in the fourth. Um, Murphy gave that one a ride, but the ride ended by being um, in um, the glove of Steve Kemp. So Johnny Ray is the batter. Now, Johnny Ray's been on three times today. All three times with a walk. I'm kind of rooting for him to get another walk here. 5-5, five, five, and he is batting left, and he just misses it because um, Camp is a right-handed pitcher, so he would have batted left, which means that he got a ground ball C. But if he had been batting right, which you have to honestly say he wasn't, he would have gotten a walk. So that is a ground ball, second base, C, four to three uh, here in the fifth. And R.J. Reynolds is up. And he gets a 311, and he is batting right, and that is a ground ball, first base. So he goes ground out three. And that brings up Mike Brown. Big Mike Brown with his team up big. 6-8, he's a righty on a righty, and that's going to be a single. So Mike Brown gets a hit, 
and he gets his third hit of the day. He's got a double and two singles and was also out six to three. And Jason Thompson comes up. He gets a 5-5, five, five, batting left. And uh, that is going to be a ground ball, second base C. So he goes 4-3, to three, and they don't get any runs in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth, where Ken Oberkfell will greet Rick Roden, who has been pitching great. Now, Rick Roden, in 1985, was 10-15, and 15, with a 447 earned run average, but he pitched 213 innings. So you got to believe he's got some mileage in there that he can go, especially since this is really a lot of low leverage at bats here that the Braves are, are putting up against him. There's a 47 for Oberkfell, and that is going to be a walk. So Oberkfell gets aboard with a walk. That brings up Terry Harper. One down, nobody out. And he gets a 4-7. He is a batting right. And that is going to be a walk. And so the first two guys get on base. And that brings up Rafael Ramirez. Rafael Ramirez with a 3-10. He's batting against a right-handed pitcher. That is going to be a fly ball center field. One away. F8, and Rick Cerrone is the batter. And he gets a 6-7. He's batting right. And uh, that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop is a 3. That is a 16, so let's check it out. 16-3 is a ground ball B. Runners are now at the corners with two down. Um, and that brings up um, that brings up the pitcher Rick Camp. But as we said, Rick Camp is a seven hitter, so they're going to let him hit, and they do. And what do they get for that? They get a double, one to ten, which is that's exactly what it is. He doubles in a run, so it turns out to not be such a bad idea. And uh, that scores Oberkfell. Of course, that's only their second run. They're still down 7-2. to two. Uh, But it helped. And Hubbard is up. Hubbard getting a 2-4 against a, a right-handed pitcher. And that's going to be a... That is going to be a single. So that knocks in another run. Hubbard with a key hit right there. That knocks in Harper and gets them another gets the Braves another run. And Claude L. Washington's up. He gets a 4-7 batting left. And that I think is gonna be a walk, right? Yep, that's gonna be a walk and load the bases. All of this with two outs. I gotta remind you, this is all being happening with two outs. And now, Big Bob Horner, you don't want to see this. This is not what the Pirates wanted to see. The base is loaded with uh, Bob Horner up. And he gets a 6-8. He's batting right against a lefty. And that is going to be a single. Oh, wait a minute. It is going to be a single to center field. The center fielder's arm for the, uh, for the Pirates that's R.J. Reynolds. I can't imagine he really has a very good arm. He has a negative one. So the lead runner is, ah, oh, the lead runner is the pitcher. So they're not, um, wait a minute. No, no, he scored. He's already scored. And so the lead runner is Hubbard, and he is a running... 1 to 12, and then minus 1 is 1 to 11. They're not going to send him. So the bases remain loaded, but another run comes in. And, um, yeah, Horner had the single. Um, wait a minute. Was that? Let's see. No, that, that that's exactly what it is. So the three runners on base now are Horner, Washington, and Hubbard. And Dale Murphy up. 
and let's see what he can do. He gets a 6-6 six, six batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. Strike him out. So Dale Murphy chokes like a chicken right there, but they get three runs. And uh, three runs come in. And now we've got a little bit of a game. It's 7-4. to four. That's not so bad. I mean, these are two terrible teams. And um, and Jim Morrison is the batter going up against Camp, Camp, who's still out there. They let him bat, and he got a big hit last, um, last game or last inning. Batting right, though, Morrison rips a double. So he has a double. Let's see, Morrison. Where is he? Yeah. Leading off the sixth with a double. And that brings up Steve Kemp. I would sacrifice, except Steve Kemp is probably not good at that. 2-6, and what he gets is a strikeout. So there's one down, runner at second. Tony Pena gets a 6-6. Six, six. He's a batting right, and that is going to be a fly ball to right field. He flies out nine, and that brings up Sammy Khalifa. And Sammy Khalifa gets a 1-7, and that's going to be a strikeout. So they don't get any runs. The Pirates don't get any runs in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth, and there will be a new pitcher for the Pirates because Roden has started to fall apart quite visibly. And they are going to bring in Larry McWilliams to replace him. Again, a starter reliever. I got to believe he's got some gas in the tank that he can go a little bit. And this does call for a little bit of middle relief here. And Ken Obertfell is the batter. He gets a 5-7. He is batting left against a lefty. And that is still going to be a, a double. So Obertfell ripping a double. And here come the Braves, people. Calm down, because here come the Braves. And Terry Harper is the batter. Terry Harper gets a 4-9. He is going to be, he's a right-handed batter, and that is going to be a line out to shortstop. Line out six, and that brings Ramirez to the plate. Rafael Ramirez with one down. He gets a 6-6 six, six batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. Their shortstop is a 3. That is a 12, so let's look that up. That's going to be off his card. So he is, let's see, that's Khalifa. And Khalifa is an E28. So we're going to roll the dice, look at shortstop on a roll of 5. And an E28. And that is going to be an E1. So now runners are at the corners. Ramirez on by an error by the shortstop. Runners are at the corners, and Cerrone is the batter with one down. And he gets a 2-4, and that is going to be against a lefty. That's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher, double play. Cerrone hits into a 1-4-3 uh, double play. And they get out of the inning. No run. They, it looks like they were close to scoring a run, but it didn't happen. Did not happen for them. Now, uh, the pitcher is up, and that is Larry McWilliams, right? Yes. That's Larry McWilliams, and so we have to put the proper pitcher hitting card in, which is a one for him. So he's not a very good hitter. And he is going to hit. And he gets a 3-8, and that's going to be a strikeout. Leading off the seventh inning for the Pirates, the pitcher Larry McWilliams strikes out. Johnny Ray comes up. He gets a 6-7. Six, 6-7 seven. Six, seven for a switch hitter who is going to be batting left um, is 
going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Their shortstop is a three. So both shortstops are a three. That's a 14. 14 and three is a ground ball C. So Johnny Ray is out, six to three. And RJ Reynolds is the batter. And he gets a six, seven. He's going to be batting left. And uh, that is going to also be a shortstop. That is a four, though. Four and three, that's a single. So R.J. Reynolds with a hit. And he's, he's aboard. There's two down. <coughs> and Mike Brown, the batter, and he gets a four or five. And that's going to be um, a fly ball center field. F8, no runs come in for the Pirates. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And um, the pitcher is back up. That's Rick Camp. He's a hitter seven. Um, I think they're going to replace him next inning, but they're going to let him hit because he got a hit, and he has a good pitcher hitting card, and that's a 4-10. He's going to be batting right um, against a lefty, and that's ground ball to third base. The third baseman is uh, Morrison, who's a four. So that's an 18 and a 4 at third base. And that is going to be a ground ball, surprisingly. That's an out. So the pitcher gets out um, 5 to 3. And that brings up the second baseman, Glenn Mother Hubbard. And he gets a 1 6. That's going to be a strikeout. There's two down quickly. And. Claude L. Washington gets a 5-10, and uh, he's batting left against the lefty, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. No runs for them in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth, and um, Rick Camp is going to come out. They're going to bring in a reliever uh, because, I mean, he's already pitched like... Um, we're going to the eighth, right? So Camp pitched like one, two, three, four, five innings. Five innings, which is crazy. I mean, that's just crazy. So they're going to bring in... See, and, th th and this is the thing, you know, with this 20-player set, there's, like, you really can't bring, I mean, we're going to bring in, um, we're going to bring in Gene Garber, but Gene Garber normally would not come into a game like this where they're, where they're um, getting beaten pretty badly. But Horner, um, or Jason Thompson, is the batter for the Pirates. Yeah, normally he wouldn't come in, but you only have 20 guys, so there's only so many relievers out there. 2-2 two, two, um, against a righty, and that's a foul out, foul out to the catcher for Thompson. Jim Morrison closed the doors. He's up, he gets a 2-6. That's going to be a ground ball to shortstop. So he goes six to three, and Steve Kemp is the batter, and he gets a four six. He is a lefty, and that's going to be a strikeout. So the Pirates go quickly here in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth with Horner, the batter. He's playing first base today for the Braves. Um, 310. This is when he was winding down, but that is going to be a home run. That's a ballpark homer, and Horner hits it and gives it a ride, and this time the ride goes out of the park. And so now the score is going to be 7 to 5. This is not such a blowout anymore. Dale Murphy is up. He gets a 2 9 um, against a lefty. And that's going to be a strikeout. Murphy has actually been pretty silent. He struck out three times and flown out to center field. So he doesn't even have a hit, hasn't even gotten on base. Obert fell. 
Gets a 3-3 against a lefty. That's a ground ball to first base. And that brings up Terry Harper. And Terry Harper gets a 6-7. He is a righty, and that is going to be a ground ball to second. The second baseman is Johnny Ray. He's a 3. That's an 18. I think that's probably out, right? Yes, it is. So he goes 4-3, to three, Harper does, and no runs come in for the Braves. We go to the top of the ninth, and um, the uh, the Braves are going to stick with Garber. I mean, Garber is a... Uh, I mean, they could go to Suter, but they're still losing. So um, Pena's going to bat, and he gets a 3-7. He's going up against a righty, and that is going to be a... Single. So Pena leads off with a, uh, yeah, on top of the ninth, he leads off with a single. And Khalif is up. Khalifa gets a 3 3, and that's going to be a ground ball second base B. So now Khalifa is aboard with one down. And uh, the pitcher is up. That is McWilliams. They're going to pinch hit. I'm going to say they're going to pinch hit because they don't like this tenuous lead here that they've got. They're going to pinch hit with Bill Allman. Bill Allman gets a 6-9. He is a right-handed batter, and that is going to be a single. And it is a it's a split single, so um, the runner can't go any further than second base. There are two men on with only one out. <coughs> and Johnny Ray up. And he gets a 4-7. He's going to be batting left. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Braves is Ramirez. He's a three. That's a six. Probably an out. And it is, but it's a ground ball C. So runners move up one base, but there's two out. And he, he was out six to three. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute. No, that was John. All right, Johnny Ray. That was Johnny Ray. Uh, yeah. Okay, let me. I want to make make an adjustment here, but anyway, yeah. Uh, so um, R.J. Reynolds is up with runners at second and third, and two down. And he gets 310, and that is going to be against, uh, what is he going up against? He would be batting left, and that is, or wait a minute, no, he's, he's um, against a right-handed pitcher. That's going to be a fly ball right field B. So, no runs come in in the ninth for the Pirates. We go to the bottom of the ninth. The score here, let me just set the stage for you. Oh, because, wait a minute, they did get one run back in the eighth. The score is 7-5, to five, and the Braves are batting, and the Pirates are going to go take McWilliams out. And they are going to bring in Cecilio Guante. Cecilia Guante in 1985 was 6 and 6 with a 272 earned run average. Yes, and he will be the he'll he'll be on the mound. And what happened to the other there's the other base guy. And Rafael Ramirez has to lead it off here for the Braves, who again with this 20 man roster thing I got going on. There aren't a lot of pinch hitters sitting on the bench here. So, 4-7, he is a righty going up against a righty, and that is going to be a strikeout. So, Ramirez strikes out, and Rick Cerrone is the batter. 
And he's 3-9, and going up against a righty, that is going to be a single. So Rick Cerrone gets a hit. He's aboard. Not a good hitter, but again, I had to save the pinch hitter for the pitcher who's up right now. And uh, the pitcher, or the pinch hitter, is going to be... Well, if it turns out being him, they got they got problems. You know what? The pinch hitter, no, he's really not that great. Yeah, yeah, the pinch hitter is going to be Brad Kaminsk. So Kaminsk is going to pinch hit here with a man on and one down. Down by two, he gets a 110. And that's going to be a ground ball shortstop B. So there's two down, and Kaminsk is aboard, and that brings to the plate Glenn Hubbard. Glenn Hubbard gets a 4-9 batting right, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. And that is going to be our ball game. And the final score here is Pirates 7 and the Braves 5. It was a very good game, but the Pirates were victorious despite the fact they were much worse. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.